Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm back in the kitchen by the way. This is Joe's kitchen. Uh, see Yango. Leo, I'll be making you pizza. The Joe's version. Last time it is Joe who made it. Today I'm making it my style and my style is mushroom na pineapple. Nisisikia msia kisema oh 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 hatueki hatueki pineapple kwenye pizza. Mimi naweka. And I like it because after you have eaten there is no mushroom left. Imeweza mejaweza bibu. <laughs> so um, I'd already prepared step one. What you need to do is I want you to see what is going on here. This is my yeast. What I did, I measured one glass. How I prepare this yeast is I measure one cup of water, warm water, lukewarm water. I place it in a bowl, add a bit of sugar and then put uh, one teaspoon of dried yeast and then I leave it to sit on for about five to ten minutes so that it can activate to get the yeast to activate yeast to activate activate <laughs> so um, now after I've done that what I need to do now is to add a bit of salt because I want my pizza to be tasty and then I'm going to add another small teaspoon of sugar thereafter my flour okay so i mix it so ah next step is to add my flour so um how how big a pizza you want is determined by the water you have so i normally start small and then i keep on adding and then I I need to perfection. So you keep on kneading. Keep on kneading as you add your flour. So um, as you continue kneading, I find it easier to knead it on a flat surface. I'm sure if you watch these TV shows, you have seen someone do this. Yeah. This is how the professionals do it. Yeah. <laughs> so basically this is what you want. As you continue kneading, the consistency you want is if you push your dough like that, it bounces back. So mine is almost done. So I'm going to continue kneading a little bit as I keep on adding uh, more flour until, you see, this is what you're looking for. If you push it down, it should come back up. Yeah, so mine is almost done. And then after this, I'm going to store it away and let the yeast do its work so that the dough can rise. So that, there you have it guys, my dough is done, a nice ball of dough and as you can see if I push it, it does not leave a, a hole, comes back up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another container, alright like so and in this container what I'm going to do is Sioni Mafuta. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of oil. What I'm going to, the reason why I'm doing this is so that the dough does not stick inside. So that's what you do. I have a, a brush, kitchen brush, but uh, I don't use it. So what I'm going to do is transfer this. You can see it's a nice ball. You see, this is what you are looking for. You see, if you press it, it comes back right up. That's what you're looking for. Now, I <coughs> take my... <laughs> there you go. And you can store it in a warm place. Normally, I can put it in a oven or I just put it here in the microwave. And then leave it for about 30 minutes if you're in a rush. But uh, since I'm not in a rush, I'm going to leave it for one hour. In the meantime, I'll be preparing the sauce. 
or joy is going to be preparing the sauce to put on your timing in guys it's been a minute so my dough this is how it looks like <laughs> what you are looking for is doubling in size but i did it perfect it tripled in size but uh, if you just press it all the air goes out while my dough was rising i happened to grill the cheese i normally get this cheese from um, congo yeah drc congo goma it's very nice it's cheap for like three dollars a kilo and then um yeah joy did something she prepared the mushroom okay she did the mushroom which we are going to use and then she also did the tomato sauce i'm sure you have seen this in the previous video if you have not make sure you go and watch the video where joy does her pizza so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, prepare the dough a little bit of flour okay and then you kind of compress your dough this could make about one or two pizzas depending on how you want it normally i'm going to to use the rolling pin to flatten it out uh, this is for joy joy's purpose normally i don't use the <laughs> Ah, I do it the traditional way. I don't know if you know what the traditional way, guys, is where you hmm, you you pray with it until it stretches. You see, when I took a you like that. But I'm not gonna do that today. I don't want to impress you guys with my skill. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it here, and then I'm going to roll it. And it's kind of thick. Eh? I don't know if my pan will will fit. <clears throat> I feel like I should make two. Should I make two? Should I make two, babe? I should make two, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 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 quite big. It's quite big. It's quite big. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, instead of making one pizza, I'm gonna make two. Mm -hmm. So I've divided the dough in two equal parts. This way I can make two pizzas. I wasn't planning on making two, but every time I do make pizza, I normally do two. So with that measurement, of one cup of water will give you two nice pizzas but the good thing with this pizza dough it does not have to be perfect how you do it because you can even stretch it you don't have to like knead it you can see even as I pull it, guys, there it is, and then I'm gonna use my pizza pan, and uh, I'm going to apply oil on it. Uh, using this brush all these items by the way guys you can get them on jumia including this mafuta everything here i've used you can get them on jumia and if you use our code you get a discount especially now that is uh, what is it called yes black november black friday so you don't do a lot of oil it's just kidogo and then um, you take your pizza and be careful because it stretches if you do it perfect it's gonna stretch all right so like i told you guys the circle does not have to be perfect because you come and do this at the end 
there are those people who love crust you can like fold it towards the end but for us we don't do it we just stretch it something like that and then um, we start applying the sauces This is actually one of the best sauces I've ever tasted. Joy makes, I don't know, I've, I, I, like every time we make pizza, Joy makes the sauce. So it's a teamwork kind of thing. I make the dough, Joy makes the sauce, and uh, that's how we roll. All right. After that, the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do the mushroom. And I can promise you guys, there's nothing like homemade pizza. Homemade pizza. If you don't think so, <laughs> come, I'm gonna make pizza for you. And then the last thing we do is cheese the cheese. It smells so nice, the cheese smells so nice. You can use whatever cheese you care, you like, but uh, it does not matter. Okay, you guys, this is what is going to go into the oven. I have prepared everything. Now, this is the thing, guys. I want you to get this right. I normally do about, um, you can do about 120 to 20, depending that range, but I normally do 220, right? And then I do it for 30 minutes. Most people say, most people recommend that you do 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it just depends with you. For me, I bake my pizza for 20 to 30 minutes in 220 degrees Celsius. But don't just put it there and leave it. Be monitoring to see how the progress is going. All right. This is the funny thing. While I was making the second pizza, I remember that I have not used my pineapple. All right. And this, like I said before, it's mushroom and uh, pineapple. Uh, pizza. I can't believe I bought pineapple while I have like a full chamber of it, but it's okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slice them into small pieces. I'm just gonna add my pineapples. On this one, I'm gonna put the pineapples before I put the cheese. But on the one that I had already prepared, I'm just going to add the pineapples on top of the cheese. So um, the good thing, all the ingredients mash up together and then uh, they cook nicely. All right, there is baby Gianna <laughs> uh, making noise. There you go, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm to acquire the pineapple pizza is not nice. No, 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 no. It's super, super, super nice. There you have it, guys. Now my pizza it's ready to go in the oven that I already preheat for 20 to 30 minutes. So let's see what I'm going to come up with. So guys, 20 minutes later, and there you have it, my pizza. So, um, so I'm gonna place it here. Uh, how I know my pizza in Meiva, I know my check the crust. The crust should be a bit crunchy and the pizza soft. So, uh, whew, it's going to be crazy because everything here is hot, 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 hot. Yeah, and I'm still listening to the news, Jacqueline. <laughs> there you go.
there you go with the pizza and then now i'm going to cut this is what i'm going to use this is always my favorite part and i told you guys all these items you can find them on jumia if you want My pizza is cut <laughs> and guys this is what you are looking for when you make pizza hmm 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 so that you and I have her bite yeah, it's hot eh? Take a bite. Let me know. How is it, babe? It's uh, very good. You like it because how? Yes, it dry. Mm. And it's also juicy. Yeah. And crunchy towards the end. Mm. Yep. So, guys, you have it. That's how you make pizza, or that's how I make my pizza. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, comment up on next what I should make. I'm back in the kitchen with the first like and ask to pick at the Joy when you your kitchen because I make nice nice stuff I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> So comment what you think I should make next and uh, comment also what is your favorite pizza you like and don't forget it's November so Jumia got beautiful stuff for you. Mm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs>